All right, so I've got three easy, really delicious cocktails here to make tonight. Let's dive straight into this and kickstart it with an espresso martini. Great to get your night going. Then we're gonna move on to have a bit of a lighter, really nice citrusy drink, a mojito. And then we're gonna finish off on a nice, delicious, fruity note of a lychee martini. So come along and I'll show you how to make these cocktails. Now let's dive straight in and start with an espresso martini. So for an espresso martini, you're gonna need one shot or 30 mils of Kahlua. So it could be any kind of coffee liqueur, just to bring some sweetness and a nice coffee flavor to the drink. You will also need, now you can just use normal vodka, and here I've got some Absolute. So you'll need about, you'll need one shot, or again, 30 mils of vodka. I like to use a mid-range vodka, don't go for something that's really expensive, don't go for something that's really cheap, just something that's nice and mid-range to nicely complement the cocktail. So here's just a plain vodka which you can definitely use. In my espresso martinis, I quite often like to use some vanilla vodka. Now again, this just adds a nice sweetness and a bit more of a flavor to the drink. You can also add different whiskies, but we'll just keep it simple and I'll go with a vanilla vodka, but you can try normal, whatever you want. I also have a shaker to shake it up in. And then of course, I've got to pull some coffee too. So here I've got a proper coffee machine, so I'm just gonna pull a shot. So again, about 30 millimeters of coffee. Um, or of an espresso, so it's quite strong, this coffee. You wanna keep it all in a similar ratio, just so that the flavors work really well together. And it's something that, if you think it's a bit strong, you could add a bit less vodka. Um, if it's too sweet or not sweet enough, change the amount of Kahlua, or the coffee liqueur that you're adding in. I've also got my martini glass here too, ready to pour it into. So let's dive straight into this. So I'm gonna start by filling my shaker with a little bit of ice, probably about a really good handful's worth. I'm just getting some from my fridge here. And then I'm gonna run my coffee. So I'm gonna pour this into a separate glass and then tip this in over the ice. So you need a generous amount of ice to obviously cool down that coffee. Then I'm gonna go in and add a shot's worth or 30 mils of my vanilla vodka. Remembering that you can use just plain vodka if you want to or if that's all you have. And then I'm gonna come in and add one shot or 30 mils of coffee liqueur. Now once I've added all these in, I'm gonna give this a really nice shake in my shaker, or in my cocktail shaker. And once it's been shaken nicely for a while, and it's nice and cold, I'm gonna pour this straight into my martini glass. Now from there, if you wanna be a little bit fancy, you can grab some coffee beans and just do a little bit of decoration or detail on the top. And there we go. Here is my espresso martini. All right, so let's move right along to a delicious mojito. So this second cocktail is just a nice, kind of relaxing, easy to drink, kind of refreshing cocktail after that heavy espresso martini. This is one of my favorites just to kind of chill on. It's delicious, but it does pack a punch. So be careful. Now, the traditional way, or simple way, just use some white rum, so some Bacardi. Um, I like to do that often. I also quite like to use something a bit different, so like this is a Cuban aged rum, and it has quite a bit of flavor, so instead of having a very light tasting mojito, it has just a little bit of extra flavor in there, just to bring it along a bit and add a little bit more. Um, again, optional, whatever you want to do. I have some mint leaves in my garden that I've washed, about five at least, I would say. And I have some fresh limes here too, which I will squeeze. And then of course, to top it off, we've got some sparkling water and a little bit of sugar syrup. Let's dive straight in. So to start, as you can see, I've got some ice in my cup already. I'm gonna come along and I'm, I like to add about two shots. So 60 millimeters of your white rum. Now, if that's a bit too strong for you, it is on the stronger side, just go with one. Um, or anywhere in between, or whatever you like. I just like two. And for this size of glass, I find two fits very well. So once I've added my two shots of Bacardi, I'm gonna come along and grab my sugar syrup. And I like to add about, uh, just about, I'd say half a shot. So more like 10 to 15 milliliters of the sugar syrup. Then depends how sweet you like it. And then I'm gonna come along and cut the lime in half, and I'm gonna add half of a squeezed lime. I'm just gonna squeeze it in my lime squeezer here. Pop that in. 
pop in my mint leaves. Give those mint leaves a bit of a squeeze just to help release that mint kind of extract. So I've got all the flavors in here and now I'm gonna come along and add my sparkling water. So whatever sparkling water you like, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna to top this up and that is about it. Here we have our delicious Cuban mojito. All right, here we go. Now we've got our delicious limey, zesty, light mojito with that delicious Cuban rum. You can see that really nice dark color that that rum's given it. And yeah, such a nice, refreshing drink. Now, last but not least, we have this nice, delicious, fruity lychee martini. Now for this lychee martini, uh, just nice and simple. We just have some absolute vodka. Again, just some plain, nice, reasonable quality vodka. And then coming along with a lychee liqueur. So this is Soho. This one I really like. I find it's a good balance of sweetness, lychee flavor. Um, I recommend this one, whatever one you can find. And then, this may not look amazing, but this is my store of tinned lychees in the lychee juice. So what you need here, obviously a lychee to garnish on top, but the lychee juice from the tin, again, that might sound a bit disgusting, but that is used in here to create an extra bit of flavor, or lychee flavor without adding more alcohol or too much sweetness. So the ratio is here, it's one shot, so 30 millimeters vodka, 30 millimeters of one shot of Soho, or the lychee liqueur, and the same, 30 millimeters, one shot of lychee juice. Now here in Australia, this is the tin. This is what it looks like. And I pour them all into these little containers and they keep in the fridge for a little while, um, just because obviously I won't use it all at once. So yeah, this is says whole pitted lychees in syrup. And it's this syrupy stuff that, that you want to put in your cocktail. All right, so let's dive straight in. I filled my shaker with ice, again about a handful, and then I'm gonna pour in my shot of vodka, shot of lychee liqueur, and shot of the lychee syrup from the tin. I'm gonna shake this around, then I'm just gonna pour this straight into my different style martini glass, whatever martini glass you want, or whatever glass you want in that matter. Um, and that's about it. This one's very simple, easy ingredients, um, shake it together a bit, popping it into the glass, really easy, only, well it's literally only three ingredients, um, can't get much more simple than that. But this drink, it's, as you probably know, it's becoming more and more popular, especially here in Australia, and it is delicious. It's sweetness, it's fruitiness, um, it's a little bit unusual I guess, but it's really nice, and I really recommend you have a go. If you don't make it, try it out somewhere, it's really nice. And here we go, we have our three delicious cocktails. So to quickly recap, the espresso martini, the mojito, and this delicious lychee martini. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from my cooking and other things, but I love cocktails. And yeah, if you liked it, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.